Since I began my channel roughly 10 years ago, I've been wearing Fjall Raven trousers. I've been wearing a variety of those pants. The Vita Pros, the Barrent Pros, and so on. Over the last couple of years, I've switched, not brands, but pants. I switched over to these. These are from Fjall Raven, and these are the Vita Pro ventilated trousers. Ventilated is the key word. The other night I was talking to my buddy Terry and he asked me when my review of these pants is going to go up and it dawned on me, I haven't done my review. Even though I've been testing these out for numerous years now, you all have seen these in action in just about every type of camp out. Hot weather, cold weather, rain, snow, wind, so on and so forth. These pants have seen it all. These pants, in my opinion, are the absolute best when it comes to outdoor trousers. For 98% of the conditions, there's one area where these do fall behind, where they're not really suitable, and that is warm weather. For myself, I run hot. With temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, these are simply too warm, even with the vent. I'll touch upon this more in just a minute. For now, let's go ahead and lay these out, and we'll take a look at the features of these pants. Starting up here at the top, you have the waist, Here's the fastening hardware. Then of course, you have the zipper, zipper flap. You have the belt loops that go around the waist. And below the waist belt, here on the front and over here, you have loops. These work great for carabiners if you want to carry your keys that way. I've been doing that for, I don't know, 25 years. Never had an issue, it works well for me. Going down, you have pockets, one on each side as you would expect. There's really nothing here to talk about. You just have good sized pockets. Going down on your right leg, you have this here. You have a snap, and you have this loop, and you have this small pocket right through here. This is for tools. You can put a knife in this, you can put a saw in this pocket, and then secure it with this snap. Below that, you have a leg pocket. On the inside, hopefully you all can see this, you have a very slim sleeve. My wallet fits inside of this perfectly, but I do carry a very thin wallet. That, my friends, is a very good size pocket. You have the same pocket on the other side. It does not have that sleeve, though. Going up, you have an additional pocket. And basically, folks, this one goes behind this one. So you have two large pockets on this side, a third large pocket on this side. Going down to the knees, you have reinforcements. And check this out. You see that sleeve right there? You have a sleeve right here. Those are so that you can put knee pads in this area. When you go down to the foot, these do include, I believe, a sort of gaiter. I've had that removed. I didn't like it being tight around my foot. You may. So I cut that off and just re-hemmed it. Going to the side of the pants, you can see the zipper here. It goes all the way down, and there's another zipper. You have the exact same features on the other side. Zipper going all the way down to zipper. This basically means that you can open this up from the bottom or from the top. The zippers are very smooth, and they work well. Going behind that material, there's nothing there. There is no mesh, nothing like that. It's gonna be straight to your leg. When you flip the pants over, no back pockets. There are no back pockets, none at all. What you do have, though, is a reinforced butt. In a nutshell, everyone, those are the Vita Pro ventilated trousers. These are basically the exact same as the Barrett's, the Vita Pros, with the exception you have these side zips for ventilation. Let's go ahead and go over some stats real quick. And while I do so, I'll show you all some footage of me wearing these pants. At the time of filming, these pants are $135 on Amazon.com. The weight of the size 48s that I have here is 1.2 pounds. These pants are available in men's and women's sizes. With the men's, you can find these in three different lengths. Short, regular, and long. With the women's version, I believe it's only one length regular. As far as the sizes go for men, from 42 all the way up to 60. Those are the European sizes. 42 translates to a 28 and a half inch waist. 60 translates to 42 and a half. The 48 that I have here translates to a 32 inch waist. Luckily, when it comes to sizes, you can find the conversion table online. It's very easy to find and it makes sense. It's not very complicated. These pants are available in a wide range of colors. Depending on when you watch this video, some colors may be available, some may be discontinued, who knows. But at the time of filming, you can find these in colors ranging from black, like a dark sand color, a coyote color, different versions of green, and so on. As far as the materials go, 
This is the tried and true G1000 material, which is a 65% polyester with a 35% cotton. That is the primary material for the pants here, but at the crotch, you do have some elastane, which is like a stretchy material. That helps with movement. Also everyone, I just noticed here, there is a loop on the back of the pants on the left-hand side, which you can use if you need to, if you want to. What would you use it for? Comment down below. I can't say I've ever used it for anything. Ultimately, you have six pockets with these pants, and this comes in a fixed length. And with that being said, folks, let's move over to my pros and cons, starting with the pros. Pro number one. Folks, these pants are insanely comfortable. They're the most comfortable pants I've ever worn in my entire life. I've said the same about the Barrett Pros, about the Vita, that is true. This really is the same pair of pants. The only difference is that you have that side zip. In the end, incredible comfort. These ride low on your hips, I'm actually wearing another pair right now. They're not ventilated though, but they ride low. Insanely comfortable. I love that. If you've never worn pants that ride low like this, it may take some time to get like comfortable with it. But once you do, you will not go back to anything else. As far as the vents go, they work incredibly well. You can see how long that is. The zippers are very smooth. That's a ton of airflow that you can have there. And it really does work. I use this feature in the spring when it's not too hot. I use this feature in the winter time when I'm pushing up a mountain in deep snow. I can open this up, I can release some heat. That way I'm not sweating my brains out. It really is a great feature. It really does work. I've already spoken about the elastane at the crotch. This helps with movement. So moving in these pants is pretty good. I would say that these are not like rock climbing pants. It does give just a little bit, but not enough for that purpose. These are trekking pants through and through. You can hike, you can run, you can jump, you can step over things, but that's about it. You're not going to get enough stretch out of these to do anything too crazy. Next, we have to talk about how durable these pants are. I've mentioned this before in my previous reviews of Fjall Raven pants. They are insanely tough. They just keep on going forever. I have one pair, five, six, seven years old. This pair is two or three years old and it looks great. There is some fading of the color, but it's not bad. All of the threads look great. I mean, there's just no issues here. They're incredibly tough. If you're looking for a pair of pants to like bushcraft in, right here. If you're looking for a pair of pants that's very technical, that is a term that basically translates to strength. That's where these pants are going to shine. You can rub up against rocks, against trees, roots, and so on, and you're not going to tear these up. It's a very technical fabric, the G1000. It just keeps on going. Speaking of the material, it dries very, very quickly. This is a combination of polyester and cotton. I've been out in full on rainstorms, gotten these pants soaked, and within an hour of hiking with the sun out, these have dried. They really do dry fast. Oftentimes the cotton aspect to the material confuses people. Some would think it's not a good choice for outdoor activities, but that's simply not the case. It's that combination of polyester and cotton makes it incredibly tough. It wicks away moisture very well, dries very quick, and at the same time is incredibly tough. At the same time, this material does a great job of blocking breezes and wind because it's so thick. As far as the price goes, they are on the expensive side, but they're not the most expensive. There's other outdoor companies who make pants that are very similar. They're just as expensive as this, if not more expensive. So $135 for one pair of pants. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, that's a lot of money. It really is. But as long as you're not going to gain a ton of weight or lose a ton of weight, you could wear one pair for many, many years. In my opinion, it's a great value. Again, you have to think about how tough these are. These pants just keep on going. How many miles have you all seen me hike in these? I mean, 600, 700, maybe even more. I've done every type of trip with these pants. I've taken them around the country. They've seen it all and they just keep on going. Again, everyone, you have lots of pockets so you can utilize those any way that you want to. You have the reinforced knees, the reinforced butt. You can waterproof these pants with wax. I'm going to throw that in as a pro. I've done it one time and I decided I would never do that again. It's simply too much work. Also, it really does decrease the breathability of these pants. These pants are already hot. You don't really want to do that. Imagine how much time it takes to wax this. It's quite substantial. Then you have to wash it out. You have to get that wax out. Ultimately, it's not something that I'm going to do again. You can do it if you want to. The wax itself is not very expensive. What I like to do is just treat these with a DWR. That makes them highly water resistant. That works well enough for me. If I'm going to be out in a full on rainstorm, I'll get a shell and I'll be good to go. Before going any further in this episode, if you're finding this episode helpful, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel quite a bit. It's a great way to support the Outdoor Gear Review. Thanks everybody.
Next, my friends, with these pants, they feature a lifetime warranty. So if you purchase these from an authorized seller and you have any issues, the company should take care of you. I've been using Fjall Raven trousers for over 10 years and I've never had to contact customer support. That's impressive. Moving on everyone, I love the fact that you have these loops right on the front of the waist. You can hook your carabiner on there just like I have right here. Works perfectly. And lastly everyone, when it comes to the fit of these, I really do like the way that they wear. They're very comfortable, the fit is good, they're not overly tight. That should be mentioned. This is somewhat of a relaxed fit. I personally like that. I do not like tight clothing. Let's see, there's a company I think it's called Revolution Race. I think that's right. They make something very comparable to this. But folks, they're like skinny jeans for dudes. Skinny jeans on a chick, awesome. On a guy, forget about it. Who wants to wear skinny jeans in the outdoors, right? Or I guess skinny pants, whatever. You know what I'm saying. In the end, that's not my thing. I like the released relax fit. I like these. Wear what you want to, I don't care. Now let's move over to the cons that I have for these pants. First off, Let's go back to these vents. The size of this vent, of these vents, is rather large. When you open this up, you are exposing a ton of leg, a lot of your underwear as well. It's interesting that the company has put these vents in, but yet there's no mesh behind it. Other companies have done the same thing, where they have ventilated trousers. And usually there's some sort of mesh here, and that's to block you from showing off <laughs> <laughs> everything that you got. When I first got in these pants, here's a funny story for you all. I stopped at my mailbox at home. It was a rather warm day, so I had these open. And so as I'm getting my mail, a school bus drives by. That's when I look down and I realize, I mean like, I'm showing my underwear and a good chunk of my leg to like everyone on that school bus. <laughs> That was rather strange, folks. So it is something that you have to consider here. If you're going to wear these, you have to be mindful of like where you're at, the time and the place. If you're hiking in the winter time and you have like some leggings on, some thermals, no big deal. If it's warmer conditions and you're wearing these, it might be. The next con that I have for these is the fact that there's no rear pocket. There should be at least one. There really is no reason why there's not. Next, these pants are very heavy. 1.2 pounds on my scale. That's very heavy for a pair of pants. Now the company does have lighter pants. I personally have not tested those. I've only tested these, along with the Barents and the original Vita Pros. Since we're talking about the vents, we might as well talk about heat. I mentioned before that you can use these, you could wear these in just about all conditions with one exception. That's hot conditions. This material is very thick. It holds in quite a bit of heat. It blocks the wind. So on hot days with temperatures above 70 degrees, I simply cannot wear these. They're just simply too hot for me. If you're someone who runs cold, you may like that. But for myself, I do not. In the summertime, I tend not to wear these. They are simply too warm for me to be comfortable. Another con would be the fact that the G1000 material does not stretch all that much. I've already spoken about this. You do have the stretchy material at the crotch so that your legs can articulate. That works well. But in general, this material does not stretch, it does not flex. So if you need something that's going to stretch to a higher degree, these are not the pants for you. The last con that I have to talk about here are the sizing. Again, this is European 48 US 32. It's not that complicated, but if you go online to order these pants, some people are going to be confused. That's how it goes. That is a very, very, very small nitpick. It's no big deal. Those are my pros and cons for the ventilated trousers from Fjall Raven. I love these pants. They are my absolute favorite. I would be wearing them right now if I wasn't filming this video. They are super, super good. They are pricey, there's no doubt about that, but one pair will last forever. These are the best version of the Vita Pros that I've ever used. And I can easily recommend them. Buy once, cry once, that's how I see it. These pants are simply fantastic, incredibly durable, incredibly tough. These can handle just about anything that you wanna throw at them, with the exception of the hottest of conditions. And folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Make sure to sound off down below. What do you all think about the ventilated Vita Pros from Fjall Raven? That's how it's pronounced here in the South. If you don't like it, get over it. Terry, my friend, thank you very much for the reminder to do the review on these pants. If you all have a question that's not answered in this episode, feel free to shoot me an email. I'll address it for you if I can. Until next time, folks, take care, be well. Hit the like button before you go. It does help the channel. Strength and honor. Bye for now.